Indian startups continued to lay off employees in 2023, with at least 11 tech startups firing 1,400 employees in the first two weeks of the year. This accounts for 7.3% of the total layoffs by startups in 2022 as companies seek to cut costs amid economic uncertainty. Hello and welcome to VAR India News Aaj. Founders are acutely aware of the slowdown in deal-making and expanding the runway is the mantra they are following to tide over the next quarters. So, startups are on the drawing board to implement those measures, going back which will help them survive for the next 24 months. Among companies to end layoffs in 2023, Google bagged Mohalla Tech Private Limited, which runs social media site ShareChat and short video platform Merge, topped the list with nearly 600 layoffs. It states that external macro factors affect the cost and availability of capital. The Bengaluru-based company cut its workforce by around 20% in the latest round. Mohalla Tech also laid off its fantasy sports vertical Jeet 11, which laid off around 115 employees in December. Another Google-backed startup that laid off its employees in early 2023 is Dunzo. The instant commerce firm laid off 3% or about 90 employees as part of its restructuring. Product and supply chain employees were the most affected. Some senior developers and at least two directors of engineering have been dismissed, said a person with knowledge of Dunzo's development. The challenge of this winner-takes-all model in the corporate world is that the competition has to be decimated with whatever means necessary. The ultimate objective of the winner is a monopoly and a monopsony. There is no room for a second or third player in this model. The winner-takes-all model requires an enormous amount of funding. Business fundamentals such as profits or even revenue are not important. The model's assumption is that equity can fund losses, revenues are not important until such time that there is only one player standing. Food delivery major Swiggy reportedly plans to fire around 8-10% to of its workforce or 480-600 to employees to reduce costs amid the ongoing funding winter. The layoff at Swiggy will impact its product, engineering and operations teams, Financial Express reported citing sources. The layoffs come at a time when the company is trying to turn operationally profitable before going for an initial public offering. The Swiggy layoff comes at a time when the food tech unicorn is saddled with losses and facing stiff competition from Zomato. Secondly, Secure bagged Rebel Foods, SoftBank bagged Ola, B Capital bagged E2 Villa Maker Bounce, West Bridge Capital bad voice automation startup Skid.e, Tiger Global bad industrial goods marketplace Moglix and Upscaleo, a Thursue style venture, a finance e-commerce brand, also sacked employees in Jan January. Layoffs are likely to continue as VCs believe that companies are staring at tough times. 2023 is bleaker than six months ago. Winter has really set in, warns experts. Let us now look into today's headlines in VAR India. Twitter lost 500 advertisers since Elon Musk's acquisition. According to a report, over 500 of Twitter's advertisers have stopped spending money on the platform since Elon Musk took over the microblogging site last year. On the same day, the social media company's daily revenue was 40% lower than the same day a year ago. Since the Tesla chief took over Twitter, the company fired more than 3,000 staff and has restored several controversial accounts to the platforms. Spotify accuses Apple harming customers with its unfair practices. Spotify has written to the European Union Competition Commissioner asking urgent regulatory action against Apple on competition grounds. In a letter to Margaret Vestager, Executive Vice President of the European Commission, Spotify accused Apple of causing immeasurable harm to consumers and developers and of having made capricious changes to terms and conditions as a result of its monopoly position. Amazon to reportedly start laying off over 18,000 employees. Amazon has reportedly started notifying its employees affected by its new round of layoffs as a part of its plan to cut 18,000 jobs. It is still unclear how many employees are being affected in this particular round. The company has already laid off 2,300 employees in Washington, majority working in one of its headquarters in Seattle. Reed Hastings steps down as Netflix co-CEO. 
Netflix INC co-founder Reed Hastings will reportedly step down as chief executive, giving full control to its long-time partner and co-CEO Ted Sarandos and the company's chief operating officer Greg Peters. Both Ted Sarandos and Greg Peters will share the title of chief executives, with Reed Hastings serving as executive chairman. The change of roles has ended a two-decade-long leadership that witnessed the company grow from a rent-by-mail DVD service to an entertainment behemoth. Twitter Blue now costs $11 per month for Android users. Microblogging site Twitter has increased the price of Twitter Blue for Android users to $11 per month. Twitter Blue plan starts at $8 per month or $84 per year in available countries to get the blue check mark for getting early access to the features. With the blue check mark, Twitter Blue's features offer its subscribers a way to enhance and customize their Twitter experience, which include custom app icons, custom navigation, top articles, undo tweet, longer video upload, and more. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Var India News Magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.